Mm. Hey guys, how are you this week on this Homebrew Wednesday, May the 9th? How are you? I'm drinking a Cooper's IPA beer kit with DME and hop tea. And I think I put some maltodextrin in there too. I'm pretty sure I did. So that's my, right now that's my go-to beer. Oh, itchy. Been wearing a hat all day, so it's, you know how it gets. So how you doing this week? I'm doing great. I've been out all day gallivanting around, <laughs> getting trying to get some stuff done. Um, and um, I went into my home brew shop today, complete, complete home brewing, um, where I, you know, I always buy my beer kits there. I've always been shopping there for many, many, many years. Um, and uh, Gord, the owner, said, hey, you got, I got something for you behind the counter, you know. So I'm like, oh, what's that? And he brings out this envelope, and in the envelope is a gift certificate for his store. A gift certificate for complete home brewing. <clears throat> All the way from the UK. From Ross Falcon. Hey, Ross! <laughs> I don't know if it's, that's, I'm sure it's not his real name, but if it is, thank you, man. Thank you so much. He lives all the way in the UK. I guess he contacted uh, uh, Gord, the owner of Complete Home Brewing Store, and said, I want to give Craig a gift certificate. So they arranged it, you know, payment, and he sent me 20 bucks. Gift certificate from Complete Home Brewing. Thanks very much. I was, it made my day. I was delighted to find that. It was awesome. It's like, you don't expect that. You walk into your own brew shop and someone's, you know, <laughs> how, how often does that happen? So uh, thank you, Ross, very much. I spent it right then and there. I bought an extra beer kit and some corks for my, my mead so I can bottle my mead. And, uh, yeah, it was awesome. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Um, let's talk about the last week's video. Oh, by the way, I'm sitting down because uh, um, my stand for my iPad is broken and I can't, you know, so I'm, I just got it sitting on my desk leaning against my my computer. So... Let's talk about last week's topic that we talked about, uh, cleaning your glasses. Um, so by the sounds of it, there's lots of different people doing it different ways, and it, it whatever works for them just works. And that's perfectly fine. Um, I certainly never did claim that my way was the best way or anything like that. I just have been doing it that way because I, I felt that it was working for me. Some people use the dishwasher, which I didn't recommend because I don't like the jet dry. Uh, that obviously creates a sheeting action on your dishes that helps the water run off the, the glasses so that there's no spotting. But if it's not affecting your beers, then use the dishwasher. You know, salt and soap, uh, dishwasher, uh, just water, whatever you guys use. Uh, we, there was a little discussion about star sand. I said it was a soap. Clarify that for you. There is a component of star sand that is a soap. Uh, that is considered a soap. I'm glad we got lots of responses down in the comment section down there um, of how everyone does it. Now everyone can you know try different things. If it doesn't matter to you, if your beer always pours nice and you do it you know whatever way you want, whatever works. You know that's kind of uh, you know how things go with this home brewing thing um, all across. And I've learned this in the last three or four years being on YouTube with this stuff is that there's most of the areas of home brewing there is no cut and dried way of doing stuff. There's no Bible. There's no rule book. It's just, you know, one book says pour your beer down the center of the glass, let it froth. Another book says tilt the glass and pour it gently down the side. Quite literally, I've seen two different books that say two different ways of pouring a beer. And so there, there is no, you know, cut and dried way to do these things. Even when it comes to how you make your beer, whether and I'm, you know, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go down that road again, down the road again. <laughs> Extract, beer kits, partials, mini mash, all grain. It doesn't matter. Whatever works for you, and don't let anybody try to sway you any direction that you're not comfortable with. You know all the methods. You'll check. You'll make that choice on your own. Okay. So thanks for all the responses. Um, 17crew.com is a website that's been created recently uh, by uh, Hoppy Brewer UK, and I believe Back Creek Brewer is also helping with that. I think that's who it is. I'm sorry, I don't have, when I don't have stuff written down, I, I forget shit, but um, I believe that's who's doing it. Excellent website. Go to 17crew.com, check it out. 
it's a great website. It's growing. They're doing a great job at it, um, keeping it up to date, and it functions wonderfully, and it's only bound to get better. So create an account. It's simple. They don't bug you. They don't take any of your information and do anything with it. You know, these are guys we trust, okay? These are friends of ours. They're part of the 17 crew. If you're wondering what the word 17 means, and this is what I'm talking about, okay? 17. All right? The story of the creation of the term 17 when it, as, it, as it relates to beer is on the 17crew.com page. So you can read a short outline of what the hell 17 means in terms of home brewing or in terms of beer. Okay, because we get asked that all the time. And so go there to find that out. Create an account. Excellent. I'm there. I got my own little forum there. That's cool. <laughs> but you don't have to ask me any everything. You can ask publicly everybody else or me, whoever you want. Um, I try to get to answering all the questions I can, but I will miss things. And I invite all you guys to join in, even on the forum. I think it's, it's called Ask Craig. Uh, go in there and read the questions, and if I haven't responded, feel free, man. Put an answer there. Stick an answer in there if you think that's uh, the proper answer. Go ahead. Help me out. I can't. It's it's a lot of work getting through all the mail and, and questions I get. So we can all, through this forum, we can work together to answer all the questions that anybody might have. Friendly people in there. Here. I'm going to be double. Hang on. Where's the mic on this thing? I'm going to be double-fisted later because I bought myself a bottle of scotch. <clears throat> it's in the fridge. So I got a homebrew here and a bottle of scotch in there. And I'm going to sit back and watch the show that I've been watching recently, which is called Lost. And I'm absolutely addicted to this show. I don't watch television, ever. But I have Netflix, and I found the series Lost on there. It was recommended to me, and oh my god, I'm so hooked on this show. That's it. I'm out. Okay? This is long enough. Cheers. Somebody asked me, I think somebody posted a comment in one of my videos about where is he looking when I... Where am I looking when I talk into the camera? Sometimes I catch myself not looking at the lens, but looking at the, the viewfinder, or in the case of the iPad, looking at the volume switch up here. I just forget, because the tiny little camera, it's like this big. It's so hard to see. You don't really think about looking at a little dot. Sometimes I look at the Apple symbol because it's big, right? So, all right. Take care, guys. Happy Homebrew Wednesday. Hope to see you Friday on JTV, 10 o'clock Eastern, PM. And call me on Skype. Ask me some questions. Uh, we're going to have a great time on Friday. Cheers, 17. <laughs>